Did you know that Google Drive versions your files? And not only does it version the Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, it will also version non-Google files like PDFs and zip files and others. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how that works and how to manage them if you need to see your versions. Hi, I'm Duncan. I'm the founder and CEO of 6.5. We are a Google partner of over 10 years. If you'd like some help with your Google Workspace account for your business to achieve greater productivity and security over your data, please check out our free offer down below. So let's get into it. So we use Google Drive uh, to manage some plugins that we use on lots of our websites. And we share those plugins uh, publicly with a URL. Now, as you know, when you share those URLs, those uh, links are quite obfuscated, right? It's going to be pretty difficult to figure out what it is. But of course, with WordPress plugins, you know, as soon as they're up in Google Drive, if someone guesses the URL, so be it, right? I mean, they're going to go out of date pretty quickly anyway. Um, but what I wanted to show you is how we manage the versions of those files. So obviously that reference get used, gets used in a bunch of different places, but I don't want to have to go update that reference. It'd be much better if I can just replace the file in Google Drive. And then whenever you go to that URL, it always gives you the most recent version of that file. So here's how we do that. So I've got one here. Uh, we originally uploaded it and it was GP Premium 2.1.2. I'm not gonna worry about the file name itself. The reference isn't gonna change, so it doesn't really matter. But what I want to do is upload the new version of this. So I'm gonna do is just right click on the file and I'm gonna click, uh, uh, sorry, I'm gonna go file information and then manage versions. And as you can see, I originally uploaded this one on 5th of March of 2022. We're now well into 2023. So this is way out of date. But now I have the new version of this file, I'm gonna upload it. So you click upload, upload new version. And you go pick the new file. In this case, it's 2.32. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna upload it and the URL for that is gonna be in exactly the same place. So now what's gonna happen is whenever we request this plugin uh, from WordPress using that public URL, it's now gonna be the latest version. If I want to, I can tidy that up as well. I can click on delete and it will disappear. What will actually happen regardless is after 30 days, Google Drive will clean that one up for me anyway, preserving space and rotating it round. So there you go, that's how you do it for a zip file. The same procedure works for say a Photoshop document or a PDF for example, all of those kind of things you can do this exact same thing with. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you that you could actually do versions inside of Google Docs as well. So I'm just creating a Google Doc here, just putting some stuff into it, nothing magical, okay? Now this document is gonna be my uh, test doc with versions. And as you make changes to that document in sessions or in periods, depending on the user who has access to it as they make changes, you can also come into the uh, document and go to file and have a look at version history and click see version history. Now you can use uh, command option shift and H. If you use it a lot, you'll find it like that. And as you can see, it shows me the history. So this is the first version of where it was blank. The next version um, within the same few minutes was the one uh, where I had added some content to it. And you can restore that version. You can name it if you want to uh, hold on to it for a particular version, a uh, particular reason in the future as well. Uh, when you create a name version, that name version will not get deleted, uh, they get kept. And again, look, I'll just add some more content to that. Go to the file menu, go to version history, click on see version history. And now as you can see, because it's still part of this current session, it's actually starting to bundle those blocks of changes together. When I come back tomorrow, there'll be a new day. It'll say 1st of September, and that'll give me new changes as well. So version history inside of Google Drive, super helpful uh, to know that that is possible. And when you upload a new one, um, you don't have to recreate the link and redistribute the link. You can actually upload a new version to it. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.